Hi, my name is Ken Campbell and I'm the director of the CCTS Biospecimens Corps at the University of Kentucky. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use a software tool called I2B2 to search the biospecimens inventory for our core. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, how to identify how many patients we have plasma from, for example. I'm then going to show you how to use I2B2 to uh, identify how many patients we have samples from who have a specific medical condition. And I'll use the example of uh, diabetes type 2. So that um, summary should help you to understand how you can go online and search our inventory and work out whether we have the biospecimens that will help you to accelerate your research. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, open up your web browser. So I'll pull up Chrome here and you want to go to ccts.uky.edu. Now, if you click on Services and Resources, and you scroll down, you'll see I2B2. And if you click on that, we're going to want to log in to the UK Healthcare I2B2. So to get further, we need a, a username and a password. If you don't already have a username and password, what you can do is you can go back to our CCTS page and you can request a service and request a service like that click on KSCAN3 that's my ID and that will take you to a service request form now quite a lot of these things will already be filled in so for example you can see it knows something about me already but you need to click on the things where uh, it says must provide a value so fill this in uh, as best you can and then down at the bottom, there's a bit that says click an I2B2 account. So if you click that I2B2 account, you fill out the rest of the form. Um, probably the precise details don't matter very much and submit. That will uh, get sent off to the CCTS team who will shortly come back to you with login information for a REDCap account. Okay, so let's imagine we've done that. Um, you now have an I2B2 account. I'm going to log in. Okay, and here is the I2B2 uh, query page. So up here, there's a variety of uh, different things up here, and one of them is labeled CCTS Biobank. And so I can click on the plus there, and you can see here are the different types of specimen that we have in the bank. So let's say I'm interested in plasma. I can take that plasma and I can drag it across here into group one, and then I can go run query. So I've got a variety of options here on run query, but for example, let's click the gender patient breakdown and uh, race and age. And I go OK. And what I'm doing here is I'm searching the uh, electronic information for the University of Kentucky and I'm seeing how many patients are there in our system that the CCTS Biospecimens Core has a plasma sample from. And typically these results take, you know, 5 to 10 to maybe 30 seconds. Um, uh, it, it's a little bit inter... It, it's, it's a little hard to predict, but it's not minutes. So here we go. Here's 29.5 and there's a little um, icon here. And if I click on that, you can see we've got 814 patients that we, uh, as a biospecimens core, have plasma from. Uh, 54 of them are black or African-American, 752 are white. Here's the age breakdown, so 327 are more than 65 years old. Uh, 367 of them are female. Now nearly all of these numbers have a little plus or minus next to them. That plus or minus is uh, just a bit of sort of random noise put into the system so that you can't make a query that is so specific that you identify uh, an individual patient. Okay. So that's how we find out how many people we have plasma from. Now um, I want to see how many people we have plasma from who also have diabetes uh, type 2. So the easiest way to search for that is to use what are called ICD codes. So I'm going to go ICD um, type 2 diabetes. And 
Here I'm going to get some information on ICD uh, type 2 diabetes. So if I click on that, um, E11.9 is a code uh, for uh, diabetes mellitus. So let's go back here and click on the diagnoses. And here you can see I've got um, a variety of sort of fields in here, and I can narrow in there. So you can see I've got all these different types of diabetes mellitus, and I can keep going down the tree uh, as far as I want. So even with hypoosmolarity, I've got different options here. But if I just want to try and get all of type 2 diabetes mellitus, I can click on the top level there and drag that across there. So now this search, I'll go over on query, this search is going to search for people who we have plasma from who also have type 2 diabetes mellitus. And here's the search running. You can see my little counter going away there. So 333 patients the biospecimen score has plasma and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Okay, um, let's uh, also go and look for hypertension. So here's hypertension, and again, there's going to be a lot of different sorts of hyper, uh, um, hypertension. So let's see what ICD I-10 looks like. Um, so this looks like essential primary hypertension. That seems like something that we might be interested in. Okay, so let's go... I've already forgotten what it was. It's I-10. So let's go back here and let's go I-10. And so uh, we'll try and get that top level there. Actually, we'll just we'll get this whole range, hypertensive diseases. We'll do that one. So now we're going to be searching for people that we have plasma and type 2 diabetes mellitus and hypertensive. And just to, um, well, let's run that. Three hundred and twenty, so almost the same number of patients. So probably nearly everybody who's got diabetes mellitus also has a code for hypertension. And then let's just add in serum. And now what we're searching for is plasma and or serum. So it'll search for both of these who have these two medical conditions. Run that query. This will probably be more than 320. Okay, and so we captured an additional number of patients because we're now searching for plasma or serum diabetes and hypertensive disease. And so that's a, a pretty good way of um, helping you to see how you can use online tools to search uh, the inventory of the CCTS biospecimen score at the University of Kentucky. Thank you for your time.